This is McCook's Mr. Billson. I'm honored to have you here. 90 million dogs live in the United States. 90 million. 4 million people are bitten every year by those said dogs. 4 million are bitten. 750,000 people have to have medical treatment after a dog bite. And most of the dog owners are not responsible for the dog bite because they don't have the money. I would like to see some kind of an insurance policy on dog owners. Some kind of a liability that has to be on the dog even if it's off their property and that type of thing. A separate dog insurance to pay for dog injuries caused. With that in mind though, what happens when you're confronted with a dog? Some experts will say back away slowly, don't smile, I'll give you a whole bunch of excuses, but most dogs don't give you the time to even uh, try some of their tricks. If a dog is on a dead rush at you, uh, all those other things are worthless. You have to, right then and there, stop the dog. If you're concealed carry, you've got the problem solved, theoretically. At the same time, for us that don't have that, having a little pepper spray in your pocket might mean the difference be between getting bitten or tore up, even killed. Pepper spray. Even for young people, I think pepper spray would be a great idea if they're going for a walk out in the parks, what have you. Pepper spray, less than a $10 bill, might mean the difference between life and death. I think another option, uh, this costs $13, this is Sabre, got it out of Amazon, got the nice little finger grips on it, uh, and yes, I have, I have had one dog charge us, my dog on a chain at the park, and a, a big old black lab charged us. It's unusual, that breed's usually pretty mellow, but not that dog that day. And he got in awful close before I touched this bad boy off, I said I touched it off. And that made that old dog slide to a stop. And he backed off at least 50 feet because I had this, because I had this. Will it stop every dog? Of course not. Uh, you get some of the, the crazy dogs. They admittedly quite often point at the pit bull, but there are other breeds too that can get testy. And if they come in and are attacking your dog or attacking you, again, touch this off and spark that a few times should drive him off if it doesn't and he comes at you, you hit him once with that, 30,000 volts is gonna send him screaming away. You bet, 30,000 volts for $13. Might mean a whole bunch of money saved in medical bills, might even save your life. McCook's Mr. Bill trying to keep you safe. As spring comes, I want you to get out and enjoy it as much as possible. But just as you wear a seat belt for protection, there are other devices, there are other modern tools out there to keep you safe so that you don't have to hope the cop gets there before you get killed. Thank you for your time.